Hello everyone, this is Pastor Lon, my beautiful wife Robbie Lynn. I want to welcome y'all back to our next uh, episode of Come Sit a Spell. Hope everybody's had a good week thus far, and uh, I hope you have a good rest of the week. Good weekend. Got ant bites on me. Ant bite. You got them out there in that flower in that uh, garden spot I seen yesterday. All you right. Come help me. Well, I seen you was fighting them <laughs> off. I was hauling chips. I was fighting for, for my you. life, and you didn't come help nah, me. You wasn't by. You had, I knew you had them under control. Give us a weather report for South Carolina. Right now it's uh, 66. And degree. clear. And clear. Tomorrow's supposed to be 88. 88. 88 degrees. Robin Lynn's favorite. 88 degrees until April. Yeah. But keep reading. Oh, well, 86. <laughs> yeah, but. But then the cold front's coming in. Yep. Yeah. Saved by the bell. Then it, uh, Saturday supposed to be 90% chance of rain again at 78, but then that cold front's probably moving it. Well, that's already 10 degrees. Yep. But then by Wednesday, it's supposed to be 68 and low 54. So yep. that's my kind of weather right there. But still 55% chance of rain. I don't care. I'll take the oh, rain. Oh, I know. I'm not complaining about the rain. But... Cool and rain. Anyway. I, I, that's my perfect weather is chilly just chilly enough for a, a fire and and rain i love it yeah she does <laughs> the heat don't, i don't i, mean, I would just wonder if i'd ever get tired of it no, i don't think so <laughs> no, i don't think you would her sisters get aggravated with her mm -hmm. stomach like she likes rainy days oh my she, older sister is a, a sun she, freak, she wouldn't care if it never rained again oh, she, she's sunshine all the way she hates rain she loves summer she and loves, the beach yes. we love fall in the mountains I like spring when it's spring yeah. and fall. That's true. But anyway, but that's the weather. We can't, can't control battle it. the well, weather. We can't control it. Some yeah, we can't, we can't battle the weather. We just got to deal with it as it comes. But everything's been going good around here. We've been working. I got a video coming up. I got to piece it together of uh, us planting. Do There's that come <laughs> set a spell. Yawn. Hey. But um, anyway. Yeah, I got a video coming up of us planting some stuff. I won't tell them what it is. And we're working on a flower bed on the outside. I've, I got some footage on all that. I'll save that for another video. But starting to get some stuff in the ground. Yeah. Um, I got to work on our in-ground garden out here too. Get the rest of that um, ground cover stuff up. So basically what we're saying is really busy around here now with, with, uh, with uh, all the animals you got, but also with the gardens and stuff coming up. But I, I think I, pl I think I um, planted too many tomatoes. Well, I started too many. Tomatoes. Well, we got them in. We we're gonna tell the video, but we we planted them out there in Robin Lynn's raised bed gardens. Eli, it come here. Took up so much of my space. Tomatoes. I mean, Eli, come here. Say that again. It, it, they took up a lot of my beds and my um raised beds, but. I mean, I like them and everything, but I just think I went overboard. Well, we also got some planted in the flower beds. Right yeah, now. but there's some stuff that I still got in the ground, like my carrots and Swiss chard and uh, onions and stuff like that. I don't want to. I don't want to harvest yet, but I need that space. True. Well, we made some space out there too. We cut down some of that elderberry uh, bushes. As far as I'm talking about, for removing some of that other stuff around, they're gonna take that green stalk out of there. Yeah, but I mean, you're talking about in the beds, I know, but I'm yeah. talking about as far as having some more room to move some more pots and stuff around out there. We got some finagling to do. Yeah, but we're fixing to be in full garden mode. Because um, I do want to get some good um, cucumbers this year because I'm going to try to do some of those dill pickle, pickles like. Uh, just showed us how on, on one of his videos. Just Metcalf. Yeah. Yeah. Metcalf meal. Yeah. I'm gonna try his recipe this year. Look forward to that. I love pickles. I like dill pickles. I don't like sweet pickles. I like them both. I really have sweet pickles, but I like them both. Gavin likes dill pickles. He but gets um, about a half gallon jar. And as we always let you know, the old animals, sheep, all doing good. Um, well, that chicken was dead out there. I found one dead chicken in the coop coop. Um, 
today. Like he fell off the roost and broke his neck like them crazy turkeys did. I don't know why stupid chickens do what they do. I don't know either, but anyway, um, we still rotational grazing the sheep. You told him we got OJ? We have they I done that um farm tour. Yeah. I told him we got OJ. He he's gonna try to attack me a couple times. I done pinned him a couple times. You couldn't go in there, uh, and that his days are numbered. Yeah, Denise had had texted me when we got home and asked me how he was doing. And right then he was doing fine. He was strutting and stuff. But then when Long went out there, was it the next day? Mm -hmm. Well, you had know, to, he had to pin him. And, you know they say if you pin him like that normally, show him who's boss. But he ain't either. He just thinks he's that big of a man. Or he just ain't got good sense. But either way, both both of those are getting him in I, trouble. I won't go in there. Well, we didn't get him out of there now. But I won't even go. Yeah, I mean, no. I was well. I did open the door real quick and get two eggs off the ground right no, there. We ain't, go, we ain't we ain't rolling like that. No, I don't want anything. I have That's to the only thing. Only animal we got here today. And nothing against De uh, Ben and Denise. They were gonna do the same thing with yeah. him. They we were just, gonna give him another, a second chance. Yeah, they were gonna do the same thing with him. So we knew what kind of turkey we were getting. We just thought he might would not be as aggressive once I. Well, I wanted to get some of his. That's the main reason we got him into yeah. our girl. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so, we're gonna let him do his thing and I hadn't seen him do his thing. Yeah. But one of my well, girls is already laying eggs, so I don't know how that how that's gonna do work. I don't know either. But if y'all remember last week we talked about the uh, front porch sessions and I got a lot of feedback on that. And a lot of people didn't have a front porch, you got a back porch, and that's fine too. Or a side porch. A side porch, or, or used to sit out under the trees with chairs and stuff for people who didn't have a porch at all. But some of you have mentioned some other things on there, and I said, well, we're gonna do a, a, a front porch session, part two or whatever. And somebody mentioned on there about churning ice cream. We didn't mention that last time, but Y'all let us know when y'all were growing up, did y'all do much churning of ice cream? And something else I remember was not only churning ice cream, but I also remember, um, you remember that uh, snow cone truck used to run oh. through the neighborhood? You remember that? We chased that thing down. You could hear the music, where it'd be playing loud music. Uh, it was music that was good music, wasn't like it? Little, yeah, little kids music. Circus music or whatever. And uh, he'd go around you and stop him and get you a little icy or Ice cream. Ice cream, whatever he had. But that was a big thing when we were growing up. Um, Especially where we grew up, because they didn't. This I is mean, true. They didn't come around there much. We were about, we were about what, 10 miles or so from the closest town. Mm -hmm. You know, and that wasn't a big town, Darlington, but. Yeah, that, that truck, you know, let us know if y'all used to have one of those snow cone trucks used to come around through y'all's neighborhood like we did. And we may have mentioned it last time, but I'm not sure, but. Uh, I remember we was talking about laying on the bed and stuff, listen to the train whistle and all. But also something else laying I remember. Laying on the bed? When I stayed with my granddad and oh, my grandma. Yeah, at night. It's in the bed asleep. You had the windows up. I was supposed to say in the daytime you didn't lay on no bed because your parent, my, my mama would get, oh, you get a hold get up. And get your Once she made bed. her bed, don't you, you don't see? be laying on the bed. I don't like for nobody to be wallowing on my bed That's either. That's about like running through the clothes on the clothesline. They didn't like you doing that either. But what I was saying, is I remember having to go outside. My granddad had a, a hand, the little antenna for the TV, and didn't have a what, one or two local channels. Maybe all you three, had back then. Maybe three. You're pushing it with three. Yeah. But yeah, I remember going out there. He said, "Tell me to go out there and we turn that thing." And he said, "Oh, turn it back the other way. And go too far. Oh, oh. You, you just right." And I think that was, that was channel 13, channel 15, and, and 33, you, maybe something like that. Yep, I don't remember. All. I know 13. I think 33 was like ETV or something. That's like that. right. But I'm thinking about how it was back then with just three channels. Now look at what's at your disposal, and none which of it is ain't worth watching. which is uh, really um, what what's brought the culture down. One thing that's brought the culture down: too much negative, ugly, pornographic, evil stuff at the fingertips of all the young people and adults these days. Well. They don't have to buy Playboy magazines or oh, go no. to the nasty movies or what we used to call nasty yep. movies. It's right there on in the whole and on family channels. They'll they'll play it. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. But that there again, hey, not not hating on the people in this culture, the young people, but they don't know what they were missing. Uh, they don't know what they missed by, and it's not fair to them. But growing up in the <sighs> 
50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, which we didn't come out in the 50s, but born in the end of the 60s, but 70s and 80s, 90s, that was some good times we grew up in. Really, if the truth be known, they don't even have to turn on the TV, though. But walking down the street, half of them, I mean, you, girls these days have oh, no yeah. sense of pride about them or whatever, I mean, no and, modesty. And, and boys don't have, a, most boys, not all, but majority of them don't have any respect for the girls. And a lot of times the girls don't have any respect for themselves. Right. I, that's why we were discussing on the way back from church tonight with Michaela. Yeah. I know she's... She's it's, it's a chore. <laughs> well, it's like you said, she keeps us on our knees. She keeps me on my knees, but I'd rather her be like she is and me on my knees for that reason than for her to be out doing what she wouldn't be out doing, what some of these girls are doing, not under my well, roof. Well, I wish she wouldn't be staying here. No. Yeah. Me and her, and I told Lon she wouldn't like me very well at all. Sometimes you don't like us very well Sometimes now, I but wonder. I know what you're saying. I'm going to tell you, she wouldn't be... She wouldn't be doing some of the things these girls are doing, and she wouldn't be wearing what some yep. of them wear. Yep. And then some of their parents parade them on Facebook wearing half nothing. That's true. That's ridiculous. So, but that ain't what this is about tonight, son. <laughs> so you going to get off your little soapbox. Because me, me. But Mama don't play that. But, yeah, we're raising a time, though, that, I mean, I, mean, I don't, I, um, some of you guys on here might remember, uh, I mean, we used to have a, what we call a Stretch Armstrong. Oh yeah. Maybe you could take and stretch him, and he would go back to the normal side. You could stretch him. I, we, us boys. Somebody, could, somebody, somebody cut him open. I think they, it did. It was somebody like honey finally, inside of him. Yeah. Y'all ever let us know if y'all ever had a Stretch Armstrong? He'd go back to his would. original shape. Yeah. And grew up watching uh, Incredible Hulk and um, uh, Dukes of Hazard on like on the weekends. Now it's another thing about weekends. We watched uh, cartoons. Saturday. It was only on Saturday morning that Saturday we watched morning. cartoons. Yep. <laughs> I remember watching cartoons on Saturday morning and not every Saturday, but if I go down, we used to call it going down the street from my, where I was raised up, up on Highway 52 in Dullesville. But we go down the street to play at my grandmama, my mama's mom and daddy's house. And I remember my granddaddy on Saturday, he always watched wrestling. And you could not make him believe that wrestling was fake. He believed that stuff was real. And I remember watching wrestling back when, before they, and again, they done, they done corrupted that with all the evilness that they show on wrestling, WWF or whatever it's called now, but we just used to watch regular wrestling, the old timers. But yeah, like we said last time, planting those gardens, and I'm sure glad they told us what they told us back in the day. We can use that today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's a shame that these kids ain't gonna know all that. I don't know it. The kids these days, and like I said, I don't, I'm not hating on them and not trashing them, but because of the culture, I feel sorry for them because they're not having a normal childhood. I mean, they Some, don't. Somewhere posted, I think it was on Instagram or somewhere where this preacher was talking about mm -hmm. what the. The gist of it was he feels sorry for parents when they tell them now that their son or daughter got accepted to a four-year college, oh, blah, yeah. blah, blah. I mean, it's like they're sending their <laughs> children out to the wolves just to if they be devoured. If they wouldn't work corrupt now, they will be then by the it's time they go It's nothing to be proud of anymore to send your child off to a college. Yeah. Because there were some on their comments saying, yeah, I'm, I, I'm a product. I know. I was raised in a Christian home. Then when they got to college, the Professors turned them turned them off, and they just recently came back to God. Yeah. So the professors are telling them you're gonna uh, forget what your mom and dad's taught you or something. Yeah. Just Try to erase. Brainwash them. Yep. Erase everything you were taught. But, so I'm glad when Corey went yeah. off to Clemson, he came back after a year because. I'm so glad. We evidently he had, we had still something in him, and he had enough for the Lord in him. I didn't to, feel good about it anyway, but to come back home, he wanted to do it. So I, mean, I, I felt like it was a waste. Yeah, but, but he wanted to experience it, and we gave him the opportunity. And he had enough discernment and God in him to know that that wasn't, that wasn't what he wanted. Right. And we're glad that he came back home. Mm -hmm. Now he's sitting on that keyboard about every Sunday or every Sunday and singing and playing really, really means a lot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was just such a different time growing up back then. And I heard uh, uh, somebody talking today on a YouTube channel about, um, 
You know, back when we were growing up, you didn't waste anything like you do today. Like, I remember my daddy used to, I mean, he would fly off the hand on a heartbeat if you left the door open and the air condition was on. Or if you went in the bathroom and came out and left the light on. I See, mean, my daddy never was. Yeah, my daddy was, he was like that. Uh, but but not only not, not wasting stuff, you know, they, they used everything back then too. You know, you kept stuff. I was, today I was talking to everybody on uh, communicating on the channel about how my granddaddy used it. I do that now, keep, uh, keep um, old coffee cans to put nuts and bolts in. Yeah, we put stuff together and anything's left over, you want to keep it. Yeah, anything you get that's got extra nuts and bolts or a rent, Allen wrench or something. Oh, that baby's going in a toolbox or in a coffee can somewhere. Yeah. You know, that's the way we if you get If you get a hold of them before I do. Uh, you know you say, uh, you ask me if you want to keep this. I'll ask you sometimes, but then sometimes I'll throw them away without you knowing it. You shouldn't do that. That's, that's a no-no. That's bad girl. <laughs> <clears throat> I have to pay the penalty. You never know when you, I mean, you don't pay no penalty, but it's just, uh, you never know when you. I like having stuff. I just don't like having a lot of I like junk having, laying around. Well, it ain't junk when you need it. When you, when you if, need it, it. if you got a place for it, that's different. Yeah. Well, we got it organized pretty much now. We got a place for most of our stuff. Thanks to you helping me organize my stuff. I appreciate that. By you helping me organize my stuff, I won't get upset if you throw a few things away. You should be able to, without, like, if you're not here, you should be able to tell go me put my hand where on. to yep. go to find what We're getting there. I mean, we, you got, you got, I mean, we. He just likes to hang stuff. Just hang stuff. I, yeah, I like to hang it where I can see it. Well, it's not organized. Yeah, so they hung up on the shelf. <laughs> right where I see it. Right where I know okay. it's, it's about the way. As long as you know where it's at. Yeah. I sure don't. My granddad was like that, though. He could uh, he could go put his hand on stuff. Matter of fact, we live beside it. He could show you, he could tell you where his stuff was. He could tell us if we had. And where our <laughs> stuff was. I said, I don't know if I got one of those bolts. Yeah, you got one in that tray back there. He could tell you where it's at. But, yeah, just, man, I just, you know, I, I'm not trying to, Ooh. I do ruin this in the past a lot, and I know you can't go back there, but it just gives me a little satisfaction sometimes to get escape from the, the evilness we're living in today. I mean, I, I remember a lot of things we've done back in the, racing those bicycles around your Aunt Carolyn's trailer and, you know, Playing the games we we played outside all the time. You know we, we talked about that last time. I know, but from whenever, like we were in school, once we got home, we didn't come back in until dark. No, I, I I said on there last week about granny beads, and somebody else said on there they called them a uh, tater rose. <laughs> <laughs> and tater rose under the neck, under the neck, when you're creasing their own tater rose. So tater rose, the same thing as granny beads. <laughs> yeah, tater rose, but. Speaking of tater rows, we got some coming up already. Don't yeah, we? we do. We do. Got some other video. We got a good little you video coming out for you. Yep, we got a good little video coming out. I hope you enjoy it. But um, as y'all see, our channel's growing. Thank the Lord for that. Um, when did that come? Ooh. I didn't say go come to the spell. Went to that uh, Farm Where You Live festival, and we showed a video on that, but we didn't really get to talk a whole lot, you know. But that was a real good deal. I mean, we met a lot of people up there. Josh. That's, a, that's our second one, and that was way better than the first one. Yeah, and Josh and Megan, the husband and wife, that puts it together each time. They've done a really good job, and they allowed us to. We are supposed to have more, I guess, prayer time, but we didn't get to pray for as, much, as many people as we did. Just kind of like greeting well, nobody... them. Yeah, and I told, I texted Josh today and let him know that we were all in and any way we could help in the future, but... We had already uh, bounced. I think some. it was like an end, like it wasn't planned before time. It was like a, a last minute decision to do that, I think. Yeah, yeah, like it was. a pop up thing. And yeah. they didn't have a, a set <coughs> place or tent or whatever. And or when people would... came in, they stood in front of the sign <coughs> where that said about the prayer. So <coughs> yeah. a lot of people didn't even know what we were standing there for. So, Lord willing, next time, if it is the next time, we're going to have a, us a banner, maybe with our logo on it and let them know we're there for prayer and i'm gonna have tracks and bibles and whatever not to force on anybody to give out anybody that may want one i think that'd go over very well but hey i was right down my alley man i was 
Um, we, well, I mean, you did. Greeting a lot, a lot of, of people. A lot of people needed um, directions. They did. They know where all the workshops were. And I used that for my advantage. I, when I'd give them a program, I'd give them one of my YouTube cards. And a lot of people, had, you know, already watch us and was glad to meet us. And some of us. Pretty neat seeing people say, yeah, I know you. They, yeah. You know, I heard your voice. I'm like, yeah, they heard that big mouth before yeah, they seen they you. They knew who it was. Hey, there was over 2,000 people went there. We probably we probably spoke to 1,999 of them at least. Um, how many people did we actually know that we, we met there? Well, the ones you videoed, how many was that? Oh, Justin, man, man. Ben and Denise, Billy, um, Hot Life. Uh, Thunderstick. Thunderstick, Jill. Yeah, Whispering Willows. Uh, and Faith Family Homestead. Faith Family Homestead, yeah. She, she gave her testimony and that, she, that was awesome. Yeah. Which I hadn't heard the whole testimony, but I want to I wanna listen to it. Oh, Metcalf, Justin. I said Justin, okay. I think, at the beginning. Him and his girls. But we had yeah, we met some of our subscribers. Yeah. T. Paul and Robert. And other subscribers, uh, what's my buddy's name? Greg, the three P's. Well, he's the, he's on he's Instagram. Instagram. But but we met them there. We met them like the last one. At the first one we went to. Yep. Yep. What was the other ones we met? That, from North Carolina. I was talking to the husband out there with Justin. Oh, True Grit. I don't know the whole name of their channel. True Grit, Modern Days, something. Megan and Andy. Okay. I really enjoy talking to Andy. He seemed like a nice guy. Got a lot in common. He actually commented on Robin Lynn's clothesline video after we left from up there. Said he really enjoyed talking with us. We really, hey, we really enjoy talking to anybody. I mean, we're little peons in all that big bowl, of, yeah. big fish bowl, but some of them, uh, the big, bigger ones might show you, but then there's some that most of them are pretty nice. Yeah. All of them, you know, um, so the lands, uh, God, I'm sorry. I can't remember his name. His name Jason. I think his father-in-law, Randy, I talked to him when I was talking to Billy. That's a real nice. Well, we thought family. that was his father because he we did. Him we him. did. But that's, that's a real nice family right there, Mr. Randy and his family and so the land crew. We really I didn't get to talk to them that much, but did get to talk to his father in law a little bit. They were Billy and them. But then I had uh a lady that come up behind me while we were talking said, Are you the homesteading pastor? I said, Yes, ma'am. She said, I've heard a lot about you. I've never watched your channel. I said, Well, you need to go check him out. Yeah. It was it was fun. It was fun. It was really fun, but I know this kind of we we stayed in the little cottage. We didn't get to really enjoy it that much because yeah. we were gone. She found us a nice place though. That that cottage was really nice, nice. Um, as we left the link for the um, for the cottage Airbnb. Um, that was really nice, but that uh, and nice people, nice very people. nice people. That um, I'd love to stay there when secret, we don't have anything else to do. But stay. that's right. What well, would been nice if we could have. Stayed there Friday night, went to the festival, came back to Saturday evening and spent the night and stayed there and came back the next day. But duty called, having to get back to, to the flock at Flat Creek. Well, when we came back, they fussed at us for coming they did. back. Yeah, Mr. Johnny and Miss um, Janice. Janice said, man, y'all should have stayed another night. And they were prepared for us. Next stay. time, we're gonna, we might take them up on that. But <clears throat> I hope we get to go some more of those... Uh, festivals and if y'all get a chance to go you need to go because they're really a lot of fun and you really meet a lot of people it's not just about youtube people it's about Ooh. homesteaders and farmers and gardeners and i mean just yeah it, looking back we <clears> should have <throat> let everybody know that we were going to be we there should have because some people said i wish i'd have known some of y'all have commented on that videos i wish y'all had known y'all were going to be in our area up there we'd have come seen you and like, so the but, next one will but see what people don't realize and and I'm not saying this um, in a negative way or a pity way, but we don't look at ourselves as, you know, nobody, mm -hmm. somebody wants to come see or meet. And we appreciate it, but we humble like power. I said, we, <laughs> I, we're nobody. I mean, for that, 
thunderstick guy, Bowen, wanting to, you know, that boy is an inspiration. You know, he's confined in that wheelchair. He goes out and checks on those um, those uh, chickens and does what he does. And I let him know he's an inspiration. But uh, for him to even want me in his video, I was humbled at that. But he's a good, he seems like a good guy. And his daddy met him. and um, Was that his daddy? I thought that's what he said. I thought that was a pastor friend he said. I might be wrong. I mean, in a comment, I commented on the video he posted. I said, nice to meet you, daddy. I can't remember. I, I couldn't hear good out there when he was talking. And the guy, whoever he was with him, was a little bit soft-spoken. I couldn't really understand. But I did hear him say he didn't live far. He was originally from right up the road here on 95 up in North Carolina. Or? Lumberton up that way. Yeah. But, yeah, I know this is kind of a mixed-up um, come set a spell from the different things we talked about. But that's what come set a spell is all about. We really don't have an agenda we just talk about, I suppose we just talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. Well, we like don't know what y'all want to talk about. So y'all, I'll tell you what you do. Y'all let us know in the comments some of the topics or some of the things that you might want us to talk about or discuss on our Come Sit a Spell. How about that? You know, give us some ideas of stuff y'all want to talk about. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, but some of the stuff we may talk about more than once. But I'm telling you, uh, the YouTube family has become a really big part of our life. And, uh, you know, I have there's so many people that are willing to, you know, help get us out there. And we're just thankful for the subscribers that's been coming on. I told you today, I remember I called and I said, oh, something wrong with our channel. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't got over 200 and something subscribers since we left the festival up there. <clears throat> but I was giving out my little YouTube cards and, I asked them, have, I said, y'all got a program? He said, yeah, we got a program. I said, I bet you don't have one of these. And I popped that YouTube card on. Oh, thank you very much. We'll check you out. I don't have a shy bone in my body when it comes to meeting people. You don't. Coming from a man that used to be completely shy. Didn't want to talk to anybody. Can y'all believe that? But you know what I realized? <clears throat> and I'm, Robert Lynn realizes it goes both ways. That I'm, I'm more outspoken She's more reserved. I'm an introvert. And nothing wrong with that. I mean, but I need to respect the way she is. She can respect the way I am. You know, I mean, I can't I mean, expect I know her. I you're just going to talk. I can't expect her to get out and talk, 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 talk like I do. And you I do. Pretty, huh? You do. Well, I have in the past, but I'm I'm learning better that you don't feel comfortable you, doing that. You try to nudge me out of my comfort zone. Try to get you, out that, get, you out that, get you out in the stream. Leave me alone. <laughs> but it... You know, it's it's good, really. I guess that you know, couples are like that. You know, one yeah, because both there. of us were <laughs> like you. Nobody would get a word in. This is true, and I appreciate Mama Barry. A lot of people probably thought I'd have got offended by that, but I didn't. But she made a good um, observation, and she was right. And I've tried to do better that since you said that about I cut Robert in off a lot when we're talking, and I do. I'll be the first to raise my hand and say I'm guilty of that, and I don't mean it with no disrespect. I just can't keep my mouth shut. But I've tried to do better. It's because you got so much to say. I don't know about that. Because you know so much. No, no, no. <laughs> that is not true. What it is. Your brain's I'm, so full, you just got to get it all out. I'm giving you a time. <laughs> is, uh, I'm, trying, I'm making up for lost ground. When I wouldn't talk to anybody for all those. I mean, all the way through high school. I would hard to talk to anybody. I was shy. I was shy, shy, shy. I couldn't talk to anybody. Now, I've been accused of talking mud flaps off a trash truck. Do they have my flat? I don't know. Probably not the ones I'm talking. I'm talking around. But I life's too short to not enjoy it. And double D is it double double D chicks and double D chicks and life's stuff. too short to let it fly by. Right? Sit what by you? and watch it fly by yeah. or something like that. Yeah, that's good. That's true. So we have we have uh, run up on thirty minutes here, so we're not going to uh, wear on your patience. But we do appreciate you. Um, tuning in. We appreciate y'all being a part of our channel. Um, you know, share these videos, whether it's devotions or, or garden videos. We're trying to just get more stuff involved. And I've had a lot of people tell us, just show us, other YouTubers say, just show everybody what you do as much as you can. You can't show everything. You can't show everything we do. I mean. Well, it's, it's just, we like you said, we we get into it because we got a certain amount of time to get it done, and it's just like we leave the camera behind yeah. too much. I guess if we had a camera attached to our head, we could do it. Well, it'd be better. It'd be nice if you had somebody that was follow us around. To follow you around. Yeah. That would be a lot. That'd I could follow good. you around. 
Yeah, but they won't see you in the video. That's the problem. Yeah. Here's the problem. That's Let me the tell problem. you the problem. Here's the problem. Here's you the don't problem. want to see me in the garden. He go to, he go to problem. <laughs> I don't care what the cat, what, when you put, I don't care if I got shorts on with rubber boots or got my white socks. I don't care about my You're hair. You're a man. I know, but I don't care about that. But every time I go to make a video, when she's in the garden, I want to get a video. She said, my hair's messed up. <laughs> I don't have a hat on. This blouse don't match. Is that not true? Is that not true? Or I'm in and I understand that. I'm like, well, don't <laughs> put your something on that you don't mind I, people seeing. I'm in my comfortable clothes. I know you are. I know. And I understand that. It's more it's women, are, more Most women are probably more like that than the men, probably. I don't know. I've seen some women on there that just don't care uh, what they look like. Hold up now. <laughs> but just live life to the fullest, y'all. Have fun. Enjoy it. Keep those memories alive. The only way you have memories in the in the future is to make memories today. Right? Yep. And we got a lot of good memories, and we're making some good memories. So. And a lot of them right here with y'all on YouTube. So anyway, we are going to end this because it's past 30 minutes, but we love and appreciate you all. We're praying for y'all. Y'all be praying for us. Leave in the comments um, some of the things y'all y'all um, done when you were growing up. Uh in your neighborhoods, if you had a snow cone truck coming around, churned ice cream, chase lightning bugs, or whatever you've done, just kind of let us know. Like this I is kind of this is kind of what this um, come set of spells all about. It's kind of scattered. But until next time, remember Jesus Christ loves you, and Jesus Christ is the answer for anything and everything you're going through in life. Amen. Preach it, sister. Y'all have a wonderful day. Love you all. Bye bye.